about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Hello and welcome to House and Home. How wonderful it is to have you with us. It's always a pleasure. Great to be back on this show and can't wait to share with you all, our valued viewers, all the latest information on home improvements and lifestyle. Now, show must go on, so viewers, here is your lineup for tonight. Tonight we have Cooking with Goodman Felder. We'll take you back to the Nature Park for more on Animal Plus, Shopping with Brian Bell. Zinek joins us this time around for another great cooking, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, and finally, we'll bring to you all the exclusive details on the Fashion Week over the weekend. But first up, here's Cooking with Goodman Filda. Good evening viewers and welcome once again to this edition of Cooking with Goodman Filder. I'm Gobin Eki. Now tonight I'm going to show you a very simple recipe that's right using our famous Bella's bread made here in Papua New Guinea. Now our recipe for tonight is French toast and I will as well show you how to make a poached egg to go with our French toast. Now as you can see in front of me we have some ingredients and not forgetting our main uh, ingredient for tonight is the famous Bella's bread. So we have some egg we have a teaspoon of salt, we have a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and we also have half a teaspoon of lemon seasoning. Now this is all for flavor, to add a bit of flavor to our French toast. Now to go with this, we also have some, for a healthier choice, we have some chopped beans, and we're also gonna use uh, medley butter. Now medley butter is made from natural plant seeds, which is good for the whole family. Also, we're gonna be using the Meadow Fresh milk. Now, this is very nutritious and it's good for the whole family. Also, one more thing before we start, we're also gonna be using the white vinegar. This is the Conwell's white vinegar to uh, make our poached eggs. So we're gonna start by cracking two eggs. So straight in the bowl. So it depends on how many French toast you want to make. For now, I'm just going to have about six, four to six slices of bread. And uh, so I'm going to need about two eggs. But really it depends on how many uh, toast um, slices you're going to have. So to the egg, I'm going to add some milk. Like I said, it's very nutritious and it's good for the whole family. So I'm just pouring enough milk, just enough for the bread. And that should be enough. I would say that's about three to four cups. Give it a whisk. So we need the yellow color texture to the milk. So you just want to make sure the egg is all whisked. And now we add our, our flavors. So we add some salt. Some cinnamon. Some ground pepper. And some lemon seasoning. So all these should give our French toast a bit of flavor. You can also add sugar if you feel like, it's optional. Now you don't have to necessarily add all these that I've added, uh, you can just have salt and black pepper. So give all that a mix. Now you just wanna make sure all that is mixed. I can smell that, that's good. 
Okay, so now we're gonna add uh, our butter onto the frying pan. Now I've preheated the frying pan. Don't necessarily have to use this. Like I said, you can use oil. So you don't want to make the frying pan too hot. So now we're going to add our bread into the milk and uh, egg mix. So you don't really need to soak the whole bread. Straight into the pan. So we just want to give the bread that brown golden color. We don't want to overcook this. If you run out of butter, you can add some more. So just constantly check it every two to three minutes. So as you can see, that's the color we want. It's not too brown. So that should be just about done. Wow, that looks yummy. And now I'm going to just serve this to the side, let it sit on the side. So we're going to add some more butter. We've got four more slices to go. So like I said, same thing, uh, just leave it for two to three minutes depending on how you like your French toast. So just make sure you check every two to three minutes so you don't over overcook your toast. So I'm just gonna speed the process because we've got two more slices to go for the French toast. Now earlier I've preheated uh, my hot water. So as you can see the pan, the inside, you can see uh, the water's gone um, there's bubbles and that's what we want because we're not going to let the water boil because we're not making a boiled egg, we're making poached eggs and that's, that's what we want. So what I'm going to do now is uh, add some Cornwell's white vinegar. Some people you know, don't like to use this when they're making poached eggs but uh, I prefer to use Cornwell's vinegar because it gives the, gives the egg that uh, flavour. So I'm going to use uh, the tablespoon. Yep, so two tablespoons will do. So while that's simmering, let's check our bread. This is something you can cook for breakfast or lunch or maybe a midnight snack. Okay, I reckon that's done. I'm gonna put this on the side. For the poached eggs, usually it takes about three to four minutes, but I'm gonna leave this for five minutes because I like the egg a little bit uh, harder, but softer. So now I'm just gonna get the frying pan back. Like I said earlier, for a healthier choice, we're gonna add some bean. 
So you can see I've got some chopped beans. So now we're just going to add some more butter. Just a tiny pinch of butter. Just remember we're using medley butter. Okay, so the frying pan's hot enough. We're going to add our chopped beans. Now you don't necessarily have to use beans. You can use asparagus, pork choy, capsicum, whatever greens you like. Or even eggplant. So just keep an eye on our poached egg. So we do not want to overcook our beans. I think we're ready to start serving. So now we're just going to have the French toast. I'm going to place this in the plate. Now we're going to add our poached eggs. And finally we add our beans. Some salt, some pepper, and there you have it, your French toast with poached egg. Now this is a very simple recipe that you can make at home, and this can feed up to three people. Thank you so much for watching Cooking with Goodman Filda. Until next time, it's bye for now. That dish looked amazing, simple yet delicious. What a cook we have. Thanks, Godwin. Now, viewers, keep an eye out for the exciting 40,000 Kina cash giveaway from Medley that's coming soon. Now, that's a lot of money. Who would want to miss that? We now take our first break, but stick around because we have more for you on the other side. Welcome back, wonderful viewers. Now, last week, we took you with us to the Nature Park as we celebrated the World Wildlife Day. This week, we go back there again as Theresa brings to us all the vital information on animal conservation. Take a look. The animals on the food web are dependent on each other. When you remove one, one is affected.
Hey, this is Animal Plus. I am so glad you could join me. I'm back here at the Port Mosby Nature Park. And for this edition, it is all about fundamental facts about animal conservation, more and more awareness on animal trafficking and many more. So let's go find out. Following on from a really successful World Wildlife Day, which we held at the Nature Park last Saturday to over 1,500 people, this week we're hosting World Wildlife Week. And that's actually our schools week that we do that leads on from World Wildlife Day. And it gives schools across Port Moresby an opportunity to come and learn about PNG's wildlife and some of the practical ways that we can go about and uh, protect our, our native animals. So at the moment this week we'll have about 2,000 school children come through from over 15 different schools across NCD. We're very lucky to have had the partnership of Exxon Mobil for World Wildlife Day and also too we have the support of NCDC Transport helping us move 2,000 school children to and from their schools and back. So what the children will be learning during World Wildlife Week is uh, some of our conservation programs. So one that the Nature Park is very proud of is the Piku Pig Nose Turtle Head Start program. We currently have 47 pig nose turtles on the property and uh, we've been looking after them since they were hatched from an egg and they'll be living with us uh, for two years and then they'll be returned to the Kukuri lowlands. So by the time they're returned they'll be much bigger and so they'll have about a 30% chance of survival whereas when they are hatched their survival ratio is only about 1%. We also have the Department of Fisheries here. Um, and so they're going to be talking to the kids about sustainable fishing and what, what uh, sea creatures we really need to try to avoid eating because we don't have enough in the population. We also have a topic where we talk about trafficking, so we really raise awareness about what is trafficking. Uh, a lot of people just automatically, what comes to mind is animals being smuggled overseas, but trafficking is, can also be done within the country and that's where people take animals from the wild and they take them down to the cities to try to sell them. Uh, we also discuss uh, with children about responsible pet ownership so we shouldn't keep native animals as pets because they actually have really specialised diets. Animals have come from the wild so they're actually not you know, used to being in captivity so we raise awareness on that. And then also to the last station we're focusing is, on is about protected species. So teaching children about do you know which are PNG's protected species and just raising awareness about what a protected species is and what that means for us. So that's a four week program, we've been doing it for four days. Uh, we do a number of these throughout the year, so we actually have four school weeks that we do. Um, and so World Wildlife Week is actually our first week of, for the year. And then this will be followed up in June, we'll be doing World Environment Week for school children. September we do Love Your Culture Week, and then in October we do Creepy Critter Week. So throughout the year Port Moresby Nature Park gets about 18,000 school children through the park. Um, and we were able to do that thanks to the support of a number of our sponsors and also to NCDC. Animal trafficking is the illegal uh, gathering, transportation and the selling of wildlife, okay, mainly for money. And why I've decided to come up with the topic or this uh, presentation is because this activity is happening right now in uh, Papua New Guinea, especially in a city like Port Mosby, we can see it happening right in front of our eyes. Okay, for example, animal trafficking. When you walk around Port Mosby today, you go to uh, some places in Port Mosby like uh, Vision City or Foodwell uh, Waterfront or even some parts of Port Mosby like uh, Boroko. You see people walking around carrying little cages and they're selling animals. Okay, this is animal trafficking. And the main reason why they're carrying these are cages, walking around because they want to sell these animals. And here at Port Moresby Nature Park, we're trying to educate students about this practice. Okay, we think that this practice is not a, a good practice because of a number of reasons. All right, uh, when you start uh, buying animals, buying animals maybe uh, for pets or you want to keep them, it encourages people to go out and hunt for more. Okay, they go out and hunt for more animals. And in the process of hunting for animals, they may end up killing one animal or maybe two or three. And 
The other reason is that it creates uh, this imbalance in the ecosystem too. You know, when you, for kids, you know, students studying science, they learn about the food web. Okay, when you look at the food web, a food web is made up of all these food chains. And in a food web, it shows us that all the animals on the food web are dependent on each other. When you remove one, one is affected. So we believe that by this practice, you know, people going to the village, killing animals, coming to the city and selling them for pets, you disturb this uh, balance in the ecosystem. Because in, this, in the environment, or let's say in the village, when people go back, they hunt for maybe a particular animal, or a particular bed. And they kill these animals, they bring it back to the city and they sell. So when you start uh, looking for a certain animal only, you will notice that after a period of time, the population of this particular animal will de uh, decrease, okay, decrease in number. So selling animals, even though people are, they have reasons, okay, one of the main reasons is because people want money. Okay, people want money. But I believe that uh, there are other, ways, other ways or many ways that we can make money. And selling animals is not one of them, especially wildlife. All right, I'm here with the students from the St. Michael's Primary School. These are grade 8 students and I'm going to ask Laura to tell us about what they learned today. Today we learned about protecting wildlife and one of the examples is dwarf cassowary. Alright, I'm going to ask our brother here what he wants to say to the public about animal or wildlife protection. Um, I want to let my friends out there to know that selling animals in the streets, at shops or anywhere, it is not the right, right thing to do. So we have to help the nature, nature park, to preserve some animals for the next generation. All right, perfect. Animal protection, much more important. Let's help Nature Park preserve and conserve our wildlife. Just as much as they need us, we need them too. Indeed, animal conservation is very important. Thanks, Teresa. We'll take a quick breather for now, but coming up on the other side, we'll join Leon Gawi for more shopping with Brian Bell. Good to have you back with us. Here now is Leon for this week's edition of Shopping with Brian Bell. Welcome to another Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm Leon Gawi, your host. Now tonight, we showcase our diverse range of bathroom essentials we stock here at Brian Bell for you. These are things like your towels, your mats, your rugs, shower curtains, and other accessories that you will need to make your lavatory experience that much better. So let's get started. Personal hygiene is important in our day-to-day -day lives. And there are certain things that the human body can go without, but not without water. Well, for starters, over 50% of our body is made up of water. We don't only get water by keeping hydrated by drinking water, but also through washing and cleaning our bodies. The water goes through the pores in our skin and replenishes what has been lost. And also in our tropical humid conditions, the temperatures can get really, really hot. So whether you're starting your day off with a shower or refreshing during the day or relaxing at night, everyone enjoys a good cold shower. And here at Brian Bell, we stock an extensive range of shower products that are guaranteed to make your bathing experience that much better. Now check out our range of bath rugs. Now obviously, the bathroom can become a slippery place when not maintained well enough. And water on tiles can lead to some dangerous situations. Luckily for you, Brian Bell stocks an impressive range of bath rugs that can help the situations. These bath rugs are big in size and thus covers a larger area on the floor. This is particularly for the bigger people and the messier individuals. You know who you are. 
who always seem to miss the bath rug no matter how obvious it may be. Our bath rugs come in assorted colors and designs that are available for you to get according to your taste or your preference. These bath rugs are sold in the singles or also in the packs or sets. The sets includes a rug that fits around your toilet basin and another one for your bathroom floor. Another innovative product that we stock and sell are these anti-slip mats. This mat is versatile and can be used in a range of different ways. For the bathroom, it can be used in the shower as a foot mat while taking a shower. There is a common problem in shower rooms. The shower basin can get very slippery due to runoffs from the soap or shampoo. This product provides proper traction and allows you for better stability while you're having your refreshing shower. Now the bathroom is a place where you can spend a bit more time on yourself and treat yourself that much better without your friends or your family nagging you. Here at Brian Bell, we stock an extensive range of accessories for the bathroom that can help you do that job. One being a weight scale. This is often an appliance that is taken for granted, but it's important that you look after your weight as this appliance can help you keep track of your health. Check out this Integrity Digital Bathroom Scale. It is battery operated and is made from durable material that is also waterproof. Digital scales give you an accurate reading of your weight to the nearest decimal. But if digital is not your style, then we also stock a range of mechanical scales that are just as efficient. Another product that is a must-have in the shower room is our shower curtains. And Brian Bell stocks an extensive range like Linen House, Marlboro, and Casa Bella. We focus on Casa Bella, another quality product that we sell here at Brian Bell. There are a range of different designs and color schemes that you can choose from. Now, bathing little kids can be a struggle sometimes, but given the right theme or color display, they can be more receptive when it comes to bathing time. There are lovely pattern designs that are matched with the pegs to hang the curtains, and the right design can make bath time for the little ones a fun time. The bathing experience can also be enhanced with some other notable mentions. Like our scented candles that come in a range of sizes and different fragrances, and our personal grooming kits, or otherwise known as manicure kits, and our bath sets. Now our bathing sets are made up of different scrubs. Scrubs for your face, your back, feet, and your body. These are accessories, but they are also made specifically to make your bathing experience that much better. Our PNG climate is generally very hot, with exception to the highlands, of course. Now this means that you will need to keep cool. And what better way to keep cool than to head to your lakes or your rivers or the beach or to a swimming pool. And when you go to these places, you're always going to need a towel. Check out our towels. Well, here at Brian Bell, we have the best quality towels at affordable prices. Our beach towels are perfect for the places mentioned and are bright, colorful, and will definitely do the job. For the bathroom experience, Brian Bell has some great quality towels available. There's a great range and excellent quality for you to choose from. These towels are priced reasonably for quality, with Brian Bell's very own caress and soft touch brands being more economical for your kina but still of the highest quality. Our caress towels are 50% cotton count, which means that they're not as fluffy or as thick as the other towels we have, but they're still high quality and do the job. As for our soft touch towels, these towels are 100% cotton count, meaning they're nice and thick and fluffy very comfy to the skin when using. They're a bit more expensive, but of the highest quality you can find. Our up-end brand in towels is the Sheridan brand. This towel boasts 100% thread count, and all these towels like the Caress, Soft Touch, and Sheridan all come in a range of different sizes to cater for all your needs. There's the face towels, the hand towels, and the bathing towels. These towels are obviously of the highest quality and will do the job for you after you've taken your refreshing shower. Now I hope you've seen tonight that if you need anything for your bathrooms, Brian Bell is your one-stop shop. We've got great towels, mats, bathroom rugs, and other accessories that you will need for your bathroom. So come on down to any of our Brian Bell home centers and pick up any of these great products. And always remember, 
great prices, great products. That's Brian Bell. Until the next time, good night and God bless. Oh dear, how fancy. The thought of just having a bathroom set up like that, it's killing me. Well, it's all at Brian Bell. Durable, quality products and budget friendly. Thanks, Leon. Up next, we have another delicious recipe to show you, but this time it's from Zenig. That's right after these short messages. Welcome back. Now, before the break, we told you that we have another great recipe to show you. Believe me, I don't even know what it is. I'm thinking roasted chicken or stir fry, maybe. Well, who knows? But folks, there is only one way to find out. Here now is Chef Vary and Raylin to cook up that surprise dish. Watch. Hello viewers, me like to welcome back to the Plant Genek Cooking Show here on Port Mosby Nature Park. So now yet buy me cooking Genek Chicken Skewers. We buy me using Genek Chicken Breast. Okay, now Mr. one time. Now I'm going very blow Genek and Raylin. Okay, I'm going to talk more on all Genek Chickens play me. Raylin. Thank you, Chef Barry. Hi viewers and welcome again to today's Genek Cooking Show. Today we will be using Genek Chicken Breast 700 gram tray pack. Yes. Genek Chicken Breast is one of our prime cuts. Apart from Zinek chicken breast, we also have some other prime cuts like Zinek legs, wings and thighs, and kai kai that comes in 900 gram tray packs. Viewers remember, Zinek chickens, they are always fresh because they are locally produced here in Papua New Guinea. Zinek chickens, they are available in all supermarkets nationwide and they are selling on a very good affordable price that can meet your family budget. That's why this is to say Zinek chicken because it's meatier, tastier and juicier. Okay, viewers, now I'm showing you all the ingredients for cooking Zinek chicken skewers. Okay, now yet me cut in one plate Zinek chicken tray pack, and you can look him on Zinek chicken breast, and we pull up all proteins. Okay, we got all cherry tomatoes. Okay, we got one cup pineapple here. Okay, we got triple capsicum when we cut and finish. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons oil. Two tablespoons honey. Now one teaspoon fish sauce, okay? This is like by adding more flavor of Zinek chicken skewers to the Okay, now before you start, buy me add more Zinek chickens inside the bowl. Okay, buy me marinate them, so I'll get the ingredients go inside. Okay, honey. Fish sauce. Okay, mix a spoon. Marinate them first time. Okay, you can cook them more same. Zinek chicken breast blue, you can marinate it also, you can put it in the fridge. And can overnight, next day you can put in the skewers blue. But now yet, me walk him straight away. You can look him. Okay. Now, by me start now. Okay, we got bamboo sticks. Okay. One tomato. One chicken breast. Okay. We got pineapples. Okay, one more chicken breast. Okay, we got capsicum. Okay, we add one black tomato. Okay, one more chicken. Okay, two more pineapples again. Okay. And then one more chicken breast again. You can look him. This is a recipe. You can cook him any time of the day, especially your lautin, so some kind of one time or family number. You can use this recipe. Okay, viewers. Now, Zinek chicken skewers, believe me, I'm ready. You can look him. Okay, let me look nice. Okay, now we add him oil go inside. Okay, let me rub him oil. Okay, awesome. 
previous. Now Jill and chicken skewers are ready, okay, by me cooking matalo barbecue plate when me reheating finish. Okay. Now you can look him. So the Jinak chicken skewers recipe one like easy recipe where you can use him like any time of the day. You can cook him like lunch, dinner, or you can even cook him like out in Sky Nosem, like you go to like Potmosby Nature Park or any hub like sporting or so abacus, whatever family. Choose him Jinak chicken, like cook him this like Jinak chicken skewer recipe. Okay, now Jinak chicken skewers, blame me on work to cook now, you can smell him and come up nice through. Okay, viewers, now by me tell him, Jinak chicken skewers, blame me. Okay, then cook him easy by me tell him. Okay, now by me let him cook him again, not like five minutes, by me tell him again. Okay, viewers, now by me tell him on Jinak chicken, blame me. You can look at him and come up nice and golden brown. Okay, really, you got some more total log in the side of Jinak chicken, blame me. Yes, viewers. Remember, Zinek Chickens is a locally owned company and we have been supporting a number of organizations like Chisaya Home in Port Mosby, City Mission and our children's ward at Port Mosby General Hospital and not the least, and our General Hospital. So viewers remember, always choose to buy Zinek Chickens because they are locally produced here in our own country. Okay viewers, now you can look him, Zinek Chickens, excuse me, let me plate him now, let me ready, let me look nice through. Okay. Okay, viewers, you can look in Jinek chicken skewers when we cook in Jinek chicken breast. Okay, viewers, now you look in. Mmm. Jinek chicken and meatier, tastier, not juicier. Quite a delicious surprise. Oh my gosh, I'm starving now. I think it's about time I put all this hunger to rest and grab myself a Zinek chicken and cook up that recipe. Just go for it. Oh geez, I almost forgot. Hey, don't go anywhere because Healthy Minds is next with Dr. Am. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to this edition of Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. Dr. Ambi, thank you once again for having me on the show with you. All right, viewers, this is a continuation from last week's topic, which was facts about adult divorce. For this bit, we'll be talking about the facts or the impacts this can have on children. Dr. Ambi. Well, thanks, Teresa, and viewers. I know I'm, I'm triple sensitive issue. When we talk about divorce, it's not something uh, happy issue. There is so much of emotions and That's so right. many things are happening, isn't it, Teresa? But I think your thoughts are very, because you asked me, oh, let's talk about the divorce. And like you said, divorce is becoming an issue uh, nowadays with the social changes are happening yes, and yes. the parents make a decision, drastic decision, we are going to go apart without thinking small little things can trigger towards uh, making a decision on uh, di divorce but viewers emiga tripla impact them stop all picking any because children living with both parents are hamamas true now all feeling strong low emotions from all that they are with a secured environment the papa mama and me stop and you may know understanding because they tend to have a happy life now the children Suppose I'm married and broke now, go stop one time, one blood parent. The, the children are not that happy as you think. They have got some emotional issues. When we were talking about one of the facts is, uh, it depends on when 
the divorce is happening? What age group of kids have you got it? So, like you look at most infants, when you ask me for the points, let me write down click click points and me come up with try think think blow me or some one is that if if the children are infants or baby, yes. they don't know what is going on. You know what your parents are deciding, so why they want to go apart. Them. Yeah, what is happening? So the changing in the parenthood and things, there is emotionally they don't know what to tell. But there is a emotionally, they can uh, get that energy level. What the two papa mama one him can talk talk come up lo house yeah. Only kiss him all by sense him tasol, but only can explain him mm -hmm. like osem old man Mary. So emi stop. So they have got impact. We will talk more about it. Number two, if the children are preschool children, mm -hmm. they are to be blamed to the divorce. So they think, oh, mi plata solia. You know, they take the blame. Huh? That they are to be blamed. So they often fear of getting abandoned. All right. Okay. So they they take that fear uh, like upset, or they they are the cause of that uh, divorce mm -hmm. or something. The pre-adolescence, okay, they are. Like even before the age of ten and nine to ten, eleven, like that, they, they know what is divorce is all about. Their sense of, uh, you know, their sense get amplified or sense get em tripla thing thing by come lo pain em stop lo pikinini because they look uh, the problem. They have the pain, but they don't have the coping skills. Yes. Okay. So they also suffer to some extent within themselves. The teen. If you have a teenage group of kids, they become very stressful. They know all about, they understand what the parents are talking, what they are shouting and howling and calling names and the many changes, they become very fearful about their future. So you're not actually helping the kids, you're making some kind of fear into old Pekinini. They need, uh, you know, they need a pair, solid parental support. Mm -hmm. So the parents should know when they are taking divorce, why they are taking That's divorce. Right. I think it's important they prevent because these kind of kids, they need counseling because they right. can come out the, uh, the, you know, this, uh, you know, teenage group can become very angry. They can become anger emotionally. They can have low self-esteem and all these things That's can right. cause our future Negative. kids to be a different personality, right. what they should be. And feeling of, um, I, you know, un, uh, that when the divorce is happening, there is a more different, you know, it's what is happening in the school ha can have an, you know, what is happening in the home can have an impact on the school. Yes, so course, yeah, they're not, right. both parents are not there anymore and things can, because what happens when the divorce is happening, they have to change home or they have to change the schools yeah, and they true. may lose their friends. That stability and things are going on. So they take almost two years to readjust mm -hmm. to the new changes. So the age of the child is very, very important at the time of divorce because the impacts are depend on the time when Papa Mama and yeah. Kissing divorce trade. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Well, Teresa, I, I think, you know, you are spot on to ask on the impact on the children. And I, I like to continue with to talk about the preschool kids. When you have a preschool kid, for, their, for them, the family is the center of their universe. Papa, na mama, na lo family, na olga da, am center of the universe. So they need a lot of attention when they are growing up, okay? And they need care, they need love, they need that one uh, all uh, security, you know, all this stuff. So the divorce, yeah. So what happens, the divorce brings some kind of division. So they are confused. So the preschool kids, when they're dealing effect under the nine years, they tend to, uh, blame themselves but in the infants or the preschool kids they don't, they don't understand so that division have a different impact as they grow suddenly that everything has been taken away from them That's and right. there is no security 
I mean, these are the kids may be abused in the future later. We don't know. But then they do end up with some emotional scarring. And as they grow, there are issues to be looked at in the future as they grow. But the effects on the children, like I said before, around like nine years or like a just going to school and then pre-adolescence sort of age, they need to, they usually blame themselves. Oh, me walking one plus something, na papa, mama, I'm loose. You know, they're small kids. Mm -hmm. the, the issues and the mind is so innocent. So what they say, they blame themselves. Parents might, they have this uh, thinking, the parents will get together one day. They will come together one day. Only got this la wish and this up. This lavish little wishes here, yeah, M2 can bring him positive or negative impact, which we yeah, don't know. It all depends on yeah. the people. And adolescents, that is like nine years or 10 years to 19 years or 13 years, like we, as they grow, they react opposite way. The lick lick one, M got narpla way. Na all pikinini, all he got some like thing thing come, yeah, M go strong lick lick na. And they feel betrayed cross by come inside by themselves they divorce parents they can be anger at them or directing towards them or they wanted to be independent or me like go or some walking walking that's what you say they have a mistrust and they have an extreme uh, that th the relationships are not strong as what you True. think yeah take things too hard to themselves and they feel that mom and dad have partly, uh, they've done some damage to them. They go into drug and alcohol. They go into peer group pressure can overpower their, in a way, and they become frustrated and things and like things have, rebellious. yeah, rebellious yeah. and anger and upset. And because they are very quite strong, yeah. not like the little kids, you see. And the boys become rebellious, like you said. Right. You always wonder oh, why this rebellious, aggressive behavior. Girls become very shy. They become very moody, withdraw, anxious. All That's because right. all Maria yeah, got different way of Emotionally looking at that. Affected. Yeah, and also the, the, the kids, the young kids, the ladies, what happens is they become sexually active also, ending up with teenage pregnancies and going into relationships which you are not, yeah, and negative. Yeah, or, or the other thing, Theresa, is the negative emotions, bitterness and stress, emotional pain, na low anxiety, fear, feeling abandoned and feeling betrayed or loss of self-esteem are some of the impacts that uh, the kids can, the adolescent kids can they show. Can develop. Yeah, over yes. the period. And also long term, research has shown the impact like uh, 15 to 25 years after the divorce, okay, that whom the children, they when they enter a romantic relationship and they expect failure. You know, this like mental health, mm -hmm. who's by savvy? That's what I'm very advocacy about mental health, That's mind, right. the untold stories, untold sufferings. Mm -hmm. And they all have a long-term impact yeah. and fear of losing things and also changes in the conflicts and things like that. They don't know what is going to happen. So when they go there, the long-term. So adjustment behavioral problems, results from divorced parents are very common and um, stress and and also uh, other physical and yeah. mental health issues and uh, can be resulted uh, as they grow over the period and, and they are hard to manage because the problems are still inside the body belong think thing belong all so so pre uh, the parents need to be yeah, remember right. that, you know, that yeah. these things can yeah. happen for their right. children. Look, I am sure there are also ways that we can, you yes. know, cure this situation yes. and, you know, to help our children to be more positive, yes. little children to be more positive mm -hmm. towards the situation. Or well, that's correct. I think viewers and Teresa, we're coming to the end and I, I love to say prevention is better than cure. That's so right. choose the right partner even at the, don't go to the party or some kind of money or certain issues should not lead you to get to the wrong partner and ending up these issues. That's the prevention is much better. If something has happened, don't blame yourself. Sit down with your 
uh, you know, people and you're culturally, you sit down and sort them out. And the children, if you have, have to go through the divorce, well, the children need proper counseling and things so that they can be out of, even the parents and the children can be out of physical, mental and emotional other issues which can be uh, prevented right. and can be sorted out early as possible, yes. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Ambi, for helping us out on this. All right, viewers, don't forget to join us next time for more on Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. Good night. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Thank you, Dr. Ambi, for all those wonderful insights. Now, let's take it up a notch because Snapshot is up next. If you know you missed out on the fashion week over the weekend, well, calm down because we got it all covered just for you. All the juicy details, that's next. This is Victoria and we're here at Vision City Mega Mall. It's going to be very interesting. This fashion show week is going on. And Vicky has some interview questions to ask around. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. It's a good chance to show people different types of fashion wear, um, especially uh, gear that normally you don't see worn around Mosby. So that's why I'm, I'm really in, uh, happy to be a part of this uh, modeling campaign with Marks and The One. Um, they've got a lot of unique fashion styles, so I'm just happy to be a part of you know, showing people different styles of dress. modeling is that um, you get to meet a lot of new faces and you get to become really close with your model mates and you also get to meet uh, you also get a lot of opportunities where the doors open wide for you and then you meet a lot of new clients and that way you get to promote um, your modeling agency like for us we're a tap modeling agency so yeah the best part about modeling is you get to meet a lot of friends myself with one word is just very sociable
Coco, yeah, Coco Chanel, um, LA colors for makeup and stuff. Of course, it's a business, and we want to make sure our tenants and our stakeholders to enjoy, of course, they invest on it, and we're hoping that people return their favor to come on in and spend and ask questions how we can help. Uh, from our business, from Trent's perspective, uh, we would like uh, to show people what's the best way to look after themselves with the minimum amount of cost. amazing I mean I totally loved every bit of it and hope you did too but just real quick what do you think of the show Tinsy? Oh if I were to describe it in one word I would say fashionable maybe a second thought trendy <laughs> anyways it was amazing totally glamorous but unfortunately awesome. we've come to the end of this show but before we go make sure to catch us every Tuesdays from house and home snapshot okay don't miss out because we got lots and lots of that coming up okay until then I'm Tinsy and I'm Victoria goodbye Bye for now peace out Glitter and Glamour, hope you have enjoyed that edition of Snapshot. Well viewers, unfortunately time has caught up with us, so we have now come to the end of our program. But we are so grateful that you have joined us. Just as much as we have enjoyed your company, we hope you have enjoyed this episode of House and Home this week. If you missed out on watching the previous episodes, including tonight's show, you can simply visit MTV online and watch. And remember, viewers, that there is more that you will get for all your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday night, same time, same place, right here on your number one to watch, MTV. Till then, I'm Victoria Gima. Have a great week and enjoy too. It's bye for now. We care about improving lifestyle. It's all about the better man for your life.